In this section, I'm going to show you how you can create new jobs in Jenkins and how you can uh, configure your job to integrate it with your GitHub project. I'm going to use a simple uh, Java application. Uh, it, it, it contains a Java class to print hello world and a unit test, right? So we are going to uh, follow along the Maven build life cycle. So we are going to look at the clean and install phase. So what we'll do is we'll uh, compile our code, Java code. We are going to uh, run our tests, unit tests, and then we are going to package our artifacts into a jar file. And then we are going to archive those uh, jar files. So all these steps we are going to follow in Jenkins. I'm going to show you how you can do that. So first step is to create a new job. So either you can click here, uh, create new jobs, or you can create new, click on new item to create a new job. Right now there are several options here, but uh, I'm going to go with the Maven project as my application is a Maven application. So let's give it a name and I will give it a simple Java application. and then click on okay. So this is going to create your new job, uh, which is for your Maven project. And now it's loading uh, the configuration which we need to do for this job to run, right? So give it a simple name, a simple Java application. And then uh, I'm not going to choose any other options here. Uh, I want my source code management as git so get the git repository get the url for the git repository copy it and paste paste it over here so that will link your uh, build to your git repository then uh, the branches to build we want to build the master branch always so build triggers right now i will skip that i don't want any pre-build steps uh, so coming to the build step uh, my root pom file so that's pom.xml and the goal i want to run is clean install right so that's my maven pom settings then uh, post steps uh, i don't want to do anything build settings right now i will skip that and post build actions so i want to i want to post build action i want to archive my artifacts so I need to give the path where my artifacts are stored. So it will be under target folder. And I want to art keep all my jar files in the archive folder, right? So that's my post build action. So we followed four steps. Uh, if you see, we gave it a description. We linked our source code management tool, which is Git uh, to the GitHub repository. Then uh, we gave it a build step, which is pom.xml and a one goal, Maven goal, which is clean install. And then in the post build action, we archive the artifacts. So these are the four different steps which you need to follow to create a simple job, right? And click on save. So that will create your new job. Go back to dashboard and you can see your job now. It has not been run, so let's go ahead and run this simple job, right? So build is scheduled, and you can see in the build executor status, the build has started running. Now, to see what is going on, just click on that build and click on console output. So it will show you uh, what output is being transferred into the console, right? So it will show you all the logs which are getting generated on the console so this is going to take some time so i'm going to pause the video so my build is now completed uh, it, it was success so the blue icon told tells you that uh, the build was successful now i will take you through the uh, console log to see what is happening here so if you face any errors in your build this is the best place to find out what went wrong right so as you can see, it is building in the workspace. So this is my workspace. Then uh, it is cloning the remote Git repository, uh, which the URL which I gave. And 
then it is checking out the code from the repository right and then it is going to start uh, building the maven project right so the goal which we mentioned so it is taking executing maven it went into the pom.xml file and clean install it is executing that command so you will see all the build maven steps are being built here so the clean plugin ran uh, right then the compiler plugin ran to compile the modules then the test resources so in the surefire plugin our test will get run there were uh, all the tests were successful so it passed and then it is going to run the install phase where it is going to build all the artifacts into a jar file right and it is going to save that jar file and it is going to uh, store those archives uh, in the jenkins right and the build was successful so this is all you can find everything here in the logs what is going what is happening at every stage of your uh, jenkins job so let's go back to our dashboard and check few check few things right so you can see here our build was successful uh, we got some artifacts here right so uh, we asked jenkins to store all our jar files so we had generated a java doc.jar file and also a snapshot.jar file of our project right so both are present here so these are the artifacts now there are there is also a workspace in jenkins so which is nothing but a folder where all our checked out code uh, and other things are present uh, which which are present from the build so if you open this workspace it's nothing but a folder structure right it is similar to your local folder structure when you run any maven project so there is the source folder there's a target folder so in target folder you will find all your surefire reports your jar files everything so this will be pretty useful now go back to dashboard and uh, if you can hover over this sun signal so this tells you that no builds have failed till now and uh, all everything is sunny so when any build fails or uh, then this this uh, keeps on changing it will become uh, cloudy then it will become dark clouds so we'll we'll see this changing when you run a lot of builds right so uh, this is how you can uh, create a simple jenkins job uh, for your maven java project and run that project uh, to build and run your tests and archive your results into a jar file uh, for your maven project